So please do not lean out of the vehicle. It looks like we're going to be traveling through some tough terrain here. Now these bushes do have some long thorns on them. If you have those cameras, you might want to hold on to them very tightly or use those camera straps if you have them because if anything does fall out of the vehicle at any time, we are not permitted it. to stop it. Now if you have those digital cameras, in height and weight than females. They are very shy and reclusive that they were discovered until 1901. So as you can see, we're at Animal World. Kingdom now. Fairly recent discovery. As we come around the bend here, off Tired, to my side, the here. local watering hole gets less than 5,000 of them left in the world. Rhinos do reach a charging speed of about 35 miles an hour. Anybody know what a group of rhinos are called? Uh -uh. A crash. Here, time escaping through the dense foliage from their predators. Both male and female bone five pounds. It's an adult male at both and hit the scales at 5,500 pounds. A group of hippos is known as a bloat. So it's very rare to see hippos out of water during the daytime. You usually get to see them out around dusk in search of food. Like, they're as long as a giraffe is. Is tall. A group of crocodiles in water is known as a very drought tolerant. These trees get about 75 feet in height and about 60 feet around. It's also known as the upside down tree. If you have those cameras, you might want to get them ready. We're coming up on some my favorite view of the whole savanna. It's going to be the Serengeti grasslands. Now, the Serengeti grasslands can be seen for hundreds of miles and it's home to millions of animals that use it as a super highway for migrations every year. Now, this is part of the savanna that we're trying to preserve today. Uh, the reason for that is because every animal has a job to do. Elephants are known as bulldozers. They'll bulldoze down these trees to get to their food. Giraffes are known as pruning shears. They'll prune these trees very nicely to let more light in. Antelopes are known as lawnmowers. They'll chew on the grass to let new shoots up. And the warthogs, well, they're known as the edges of the group. And it looks like they've been doing a really good job lately, but they also... And why? You gotta get up all the way through that neck of theirs to get to their heads. A group of giraffes is known as a tower. Giraffes will spend anywhere between 16 to 18 hours eating on the savanna a day. When a baby giraffe is born, they stand about six feet in height. Now that's one baby I have to look up to. Oh, very close to the truck, we were able to see some guys with some very big old horns on their head. These are Ancoli cattle. Uh, the Watusi tribe in Africa have been breeding these cattle for centuries, and after hundreds of years of breeding, oh, those horns of theirs get about six feet in length and about 20 inches around the base. They are the only domesticated animal on the reserve. Please sit down for me. Thank you. Other grayish animals here with them are white-bearded wildebeest. Now, white bearded wildebeest can reach speeds of about 40 miles an hour. They're part of one of the largest migrating herds here in Africa. You can be seen in herds of hundreds of thousands when migrating. Uh, the neat thing about them is they can go up to five days without water with when they migrate. I uh, get their name for the Afrikaan word, meaning wild beast for their menacing appearance. We're going to get a really good view of this Maasai giraffe here. Monkeys in the world. <laughs> Off to the passenger side here, going to be the male African elephant, or bull as they say. We know he's the male or the bull because they live alone or in small bachelor groups. They weigh between 11,000 pounds to 13,800 pounds. They eat about 300 pounds of food a day. Oh, they have a childhood very similar to ours. Their childhood spans about 13 to 15 years. Oh, the gestation period of a few Favorite animal. Alright, let's go see what's up around the bend here. Now I'm a little curious. Not much further to stop for them. And I need the girl with the pink magic band to stay inside the vehicle for me, please. Thank you. Actually, habitat encroachment, their numbers are still dwindling. Wow. Now it's causing habitat encroachment is mining of a metallic ore called Coltan. Coltan can be found in your cell phones and laptops. We have some URE cycle that will help the habitats of these magnificent creatures. Our scientists have discovered elephant communications to understand what they need to survive and how they communicate. In this process, we found out African elephants do not wow. like bees. How they pass that information along to the local farmers so they can build beehive fences and as to help protect their crops. And then an added bonus, they can sell the honey for profit as well. Now that 
is a great picture for the end of the photo album. As we come around the bend here, off to my side, going to be the Greater Flamingos. Greater Flamingos get their pink coloring from the baby carrots that they get from shrimp and other small sea crustaceans that they eat. By the born to born a gray color, it's wide mouth, not by the coloring of their skin. If you went to go hose and off, you'd be running for your lives. Now they are still being poached this very day for their horns, which are made out of keratin, the same protein as your hair and fingernails are made out of. Out of ever advancing technology, and then the supply of money the poachers have. It's hard to keep up with the poachers. Why rhino males weigh about 5,000 pounds, females weigh about 4,000 pounds. They get about six feet in height at the shoulders. You'll see the male lion and female. Now males weigh about 500 pounds, females weigh about 400 pounds. They are inactive for about 18 to 20 hours a day. How a lion roars. You can hear that roar for about six miles. Anybody know the Swahili word for lion? Samba. Samba, that's right. Lions can jump about 20 feet. They can reach speeds of about 35 miles an hour. They cannot sustain that speed for very long, though. Females, the majority of the hunting for the prey, the males will join in every once in a while to bring down bigger game. They hunt predominantly at nighttime. There are the females right here on the rocks off to my side. Oh, and we come up here a little bit further off to the passenger side. Going to be a chestnut colored animal. Going to be the Bontabak. Sadly, Bontabak can only be seen on protected reserves like this one. They do not exist in the wild anymore. With them are going to be some zebras. Zebras are black with white stripes. They can tell because the coloring of their nose. They can reach speeds of about 40 miles an hour. Now, their stripes are as unique as your own fingerprints. Those stripes are never the same on an individual zebra. Yeah. I'm going to head over to Mugatti Glen next. Now it is, they can draw moisture from the food that they eat, so you can spend most of their lives without taking a drink of water. Uh, they do that because they have to live in arid regions of the world, like the Sahara Desert. Those ones are there just get about three to four feet in length. Also coming up here to the passenger side, going to be some yellow-billed storks. Yellow-billed storks get their name for their yellow bills. They are carnivorous. They like to feed upon snakes, fish, frogs, and other small animals. They get about three feet in height. They have a wingspan of about five feet. Now it is going to get a little bumpy here for just a moment. Okay, so it's a kind of laugh, but we're at Animal Kingdom. You might have heard that in the last clip, but it was also loud. <laughs> and we are on Baby Lua. And here we go. I'm excited. Everyone. 
This is what we just went on. And now we're gonna go ride Dinosaur, which is like a really crazy spinning ride. Dinosaur Land, say hi. Hello, we're at Animal Kingdom. <laughs> Uh, no. Sven and Ashley just don't know where they're going in any of these parks whatsoever. Okay, so we're about to get on Dinosaur. It's really rocky, so I'm not going to be vlogging any of it. But we'll get reactions after. Uh, we are so scared. So terrified. Uh, Ashley was screaming so loud. We just went on Everest which is behind those trees. And we're doing some challenges. Me and Ashley got two done. Doing good. Now we're gonna go get wet on Cali River Rapids. Look at the monkeys. There's more over there. Oh yeah. They just they're just uh sitting here waiting. Spanish driving the bicycle. Yeah. If only I had wheels, I could push it. There's one wheel right there. I mean, the thing needs to push the wheels. <clears throat> There's a pedal right here. Oh wait, that's a bike stop. It's like, just kidding. We're just sitting here, having fun, kind of. <laughs> it's really hot, sweaty. I'm tired. Great combinations. I was saying, we just went on the Cali River Rapids and we are all just wet everywhere. Look. Hello, we just got off Cali River Rapids. I just said that. <laughs> and we're wet. I said that. <laughs> wet. What? <laughs> now we're going to lunch. Yay, lunch. Glorious food. Okay, so we're eating lunch and this like this place we've been to like a lot of times every time we come to Animal Kingdom. And there's like a trailer in like implemented into the, the restaurant. And we just so happened to get inside the trailer today. And you can like see out and everything. It's really cool. Crocodile in the water. I don't see a crocodile in the water. And it was swimming just for a moment, but now it's not. Oh, and it looks like there. just a rock. Oh, <laughs> We're going into It's Supposed to Be a Bug, and I usually don't go on this, but I'm really scared. <laughs> and this is the only thing that I'm scared about, because there's a part where a bee apparently sings you. Apparently they took that out, <laughs> so, ugh. I'm getting forced, getting dragged in. Help me. It's so annoying. There's rain everywhere. I'm tired. We just went to go see Nemo. And it kind of bored me out. And we have to wait for dinner again. So we're in line for Doug and Russell. And they're coming back. But it's raining. And I'm tired. And the rain is making me even more tired. Rainforest Cafe now eating dinner. And we are in the midst of a, a thunderstorm where every animal, every creature, everything moves. What? <laughs> Next to the gorilla. There's a frog up there on the wall. Fish tank. Wait, I can't clap. Eating. It was really good. My food was great. 
And now I'm just <laughs> by the aquarium, noticing that some of these fish in this like corner area are just sitting still in really weird positions. They're just swimming in one place. <laughs> My mom has this like toothpick thing. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> My mom has this like stick thing in her hand, and she was holding it with the other hand, and she stabbed me. Stop! <laughs> and we're just out here. And we like, might be stuck here. <laughs> no. My hair's Literally, so no one's here whatsoever. <laughs> There's like four workers, like all these buses, and we're like the lonely family. Okay, so we want to go to downtown Disney, right? <laughs> and there's like 20 buses in this lot. And we have to get a bus the past two days. And we have to go we have to go to our resort to get a bus to go downtown. But there's 20 buses in this bus lot. What is happening? And there's no one here. <laughs> And we just figured out, if they're not assigned to somewhere, their name is Cinderella. He waved to me, like for you. Okay, so we had this bus to ourselves, and we're very happy. <laughs> and it's nice. And you not hold it right. I don't think I've mastered it yet. <laughs> LOL, don't drop my camera. Hello. <laughs> I'm putting all this footage in. Okay, here's my eyeball. Gotta go. <laughs> Going to downtown Disney. <laughs> this is what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I can't touch that on you. He is singing with peanut butter jelly. <laughs> Something just squirted water at me and I don't know what it was. We're in Once Upon a Toy. And this is like the child's best dream. Look at all the toys. Okay, so they're playing an old Miley Cyrus song. And me and Faith got separated from Savannah and Ashley. And we're all really tired. And we regret coming here. It's such a failed trip to downtown Disney. A uh, goofy shot. And we looked at this. Wait, these are Rice Krispie treats. Yeah. <laughs> these are Rice Krispie treat cakes. But I like these. Crumb apples are bay. I love them. Walking to, walking into the candy store is not a very good idea. Oh, I love watching the Same. Oh. <laughs> I love chocolate strawberries. I think you did. Strawberries are my favorite fruit. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm taking this job. <laughs> I will do such a great job. Look how cute this looks and look how good it looks. Oh my gosh. Look at all of them. Maleficent, Olaf, Mickey, Minnie. It's nuts. And some actually do have nuts on them. How ironic. Yeah, hey guys, so we ended up getting some candy. I got like milk chocolate dipped to marshmallows, and we're really tired and up angles. <laughs> and we're gonna go to bed, so I'll see you tomorrow. Dream big, guys.